Meet NASA's newest tool in the fight against climate change and rising oceans, a fleet of autonomous robots that would dive deep under polar ice. Their mission is to determine how fast Antarctica's giant ice shelves are melting and how long we have until rising sea levels swallow coastal cities. This project is called Ice Node. CNN Chief Climate Correspondent Bill Weir is here with the details on this. Um, tell us about this, Bill. Well, Brianna, uh, Boris, NASA known for their suite of cool tools. This one really focused on life here on Earth, especially at the poles, trying to answer the question, what happens on a planet overheated by fossil fuel pollution when land ice in Antarctica uh, melts faster than anyone even predicted a decade ago? Well, measuring how fast it's going away has been a real problem. You can imagine some of the most inhospitable places on the planet, especially considering that the grounding line of these big glaciers around Antarctica are the key places to study. That's where the ice meets the under seabed there. And there are new fears, new science has shown when they sent down a controlled sort of uh, a attached robot called Ice Fin that warm water is getting under big glaciers down south like the Thwaites, a, a glacier the size of Florida that's acting as sort of a cork holding back all the land ice on Antarctica. They have 10 new sort of robots. These are these ice nodes they want to deploy around Antarctica. They're autonomous. They're not connected to a cord the way that Ice Fin was. They let them float and are sort of directed by the uh, computers on board to ocean currents to then attach to that grounding line underwater in that frozen and then stay there for up to a year. When they eventually release, they'll, they'll be able to send all the data of what's exactly happening into satellites and get a much more accurate long-term data set of what is going on on the bottom of the ocean. It's important to remember that the North Pole is a basically a frozen ocean surrounded by land. South Pole is the opposite, big chunk of frozen land surrounded by ocean. And if that goes away, just the weights could raise sea level rise by two feet. The whole of Antarctica could be 20 feet. That's a really apocalyptic scenario that, that scientists aren't talking about. But even a few inches, six inches, a foot could be devastating in places like Miami, Charleston, Boston, Shanghai, around the world, coastal cities that are right on the edge. And we built for a different age, a different earth that is sort of steadily going away. So knowledge is power and understanding really what's happening to these, these glaciers that took millions of years to form.